Hello guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod spotlight. This time we're going to be taking at the R take, taking it. No, we're going to be taking a look at the R101 rifle, which is made by a, a robot. Uh, it, it's funny because and he's created by he says just says me. Uh, that's a bit unique. Don't mind it at all. It's a little funny joke, I suppose. Um. Anyway. Sorry, I have bad humor. It's 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 fine. Anyway, uh, the R101 rifle. Um, he says he added because he feels like uh, Fallout 4 should have a gun that, like, they should replace the Fallout 4 rifle. Essentially, he says this is my take on what the Fallout 4 rifle should have been. So uh, yeah, uh, it looks good. I have nothing against the gun, except that the animations it's using seems to misalign a little bit with you know. Uh, how it actually looks like. Besides that, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and use it. The sound I've heard before, uh, the animation of shooting I've also seen before, I'm pretty sure. And it's single fire right now. Oh yeah, isn't this the animation that is used by the, uh, the, 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 what's the one from Nuka World? Bridget is also a requirement for the mod here itself. Uh, in any case, let's go ahead and look at what weapon mods and vacations we can actually apply to it. And it seems like it has all the basic ones. Oh, we can even change its paint to Anchorage and everything. That is kind of nice. Wasn't that something that the other mods were sort of missing that you can change the overall kind of look of the weapons? In any case, you have the automatic receiver, the standard receiver. It's a little bit sad that the automatic receiver is... Um Actually, give me a second. Uh, I, I messed up a little bit here before I started recording. I want to go in here and I'm going to be... This is another mod. I'm not going to showcase that just yet. Just ignore that I'm doing this at the moment. Uh, where is it? Combat, combat, combat. Isn't it in here somewhere? Probably went past it, didn't I? Uh, commando, there we go. That's, that's the one. Uh, I, oh, I'm not a high enough level for these. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Is this good enough for the automatic thing of this weapon? Sorry, I also have other guns I want to want to test. <laughs> so they're kind of in my inventory as well. I wasn't really prepared for some reason. Anyway, let's just check out the automatic. Okay, automatic is, is, seems a little bit nicer to use. It doesn't have that weird like side going to the top right and then down again. So I'd recommend using this automatic mode if you if you want to have a uh, this weapon. Oh, you're gonna give a sniper barrel, so you can turn this into like a makeshift sniper rifle, it seems. Now I'm missing the rifleman one. Whatever, it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You can add a wire stock. This is stop stock. Uh, so yeah, you can make it look pretty cool as well. You can even give it a big magazine, a mega mag, so it has a uh, two two drum magazines, which is kind of cool. You can even give it a long scope. All right, kind of nice, kind of nice. And, uh, yeah, it has it has some of the... I, I wish there were more options in some of the locations, like, you know, the receiver. Because it feels a little bit limiting. Do, does he have the... No, he, he does not have the hole you can change the damage percentage. Because that, that's kind of a thing that's super nice for a weapon that doesn't have a lot of receivers, is you can manually change the damage of the weapon. So that's something I would request, uh, which would be super nice. But as I said, I like the look of the weapon. It does indeed look like a weapon that would fit better into Fallout 4 than, you know, the assault rifle. Uh, but I mean, or rather whatever rifle he's talking about. I mean, the hunting rifle I actually like, um, but I'm guessing he's talking about the assault rifle or the other rifle, the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but the, the basic rifle in the game that looks a lot like the, the shotgun. I would still prefer this one over that rifle just because it looks super close to the shotgun. In any case, a nice aesthetically pleasing weapon. Uh, although it does look like the metal is a bit off. I, I actually, no, it doesn't. It's just my bad. Because it, it's supposed to look like it's worn. I don't know why I thought it was supposed to look like a clean weapon. <laughs> this is my brain going a little bit wonky there. Um, in any case, I like the weapon. It is a fairly simple weapon. Uh, but it is a nice replacement for the, uh, the assault rifle in the game. Or at least the normal rifle in the game. That's not the hunting rifle. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one thing... Like two things I request, of course. Two things I would give us feedback. You don't have to do it, of course. But it would be to make custom animations for the weapon. It feels a little bit weird that when he pulls, like I can deal with this, right? It's a bit weird when he pulls though. Like if you can remove the pull and just have this, then I would rather that that would be easier to manage. Although then the the, the top part will serve no purpose, which is a bit weird as well. 
maybe getting custom animations it would be nice and of course also a couple more options and if no more options then the whole percentage thing in here where you can change the damage percentage um i like the paint option though it's nice i like the little description no time for fear i really like the aesthetic and and the, the whole paint thing and the muscles and everything it, it's super cool I'm gonna give it a marksman stock, cause why not? And then the I can't make a sniper barrel, sadly. This is standard receiver. And then of course uh, the, the legendary thing is another mod. I always have to state that because I keep forgetting to remove it. But it's another mod. It's not part of this mod. Um, yeah. So it's, it's nice. I like it. I like it. Very nice. Oh, oh! It has the laser rifle problem, where you have the uh, the stock here and it goes in your face. Although it's easily fixable, just don't use the stock that has this thingy here. Like, I can fix it by simply doing this. Uh, where is it? This one should fix it, right? Or maybe it's on the same level as well. No, I, th I think it fixes it. Yeah, it, it fixes it. It's because whenever you have a stock that is above the normal gun's height, it, it acts weird when you aim down sight. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, that, that's, that's the gun, I suppose. Very nice gun, very well made, uh, A-Robot 96, very well made, I like it. Going the extra mile would be awesome, but uh, this is still a fun game to add to your game, uh, fun game, uh, fun gun to add to your game if you want to. Fairly simple weapon, fairly nice as well. Looks sturdy, looks used, it makes sense, and it, it, like in all honesty, if I throw it on the ground here, it does indeed look like something that would fit in with the environment, that would fit in with someone using this weapon in the apocalypse. So uh, I would say you did a great job. Again, for, for me to use it in, as an actual replacement though, I would need different animations or be able to change the damage. But besides that, it is a very well made little uh, rifle. That you can also change to a pistol by the way, if you just remove the, the stock at all. Like completely, then it's also then it's called a pistol instead. So it doesn't have to be working as a rifle. It can also just be a bag of pistol in case you want to. And just remove the stock and then it changes its name. Like all the other weapons in default Fallout 4 does. But in any case, that's going to be it for this mod spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do want the mod, it is in the description down below. Uh, consider checking it out and getting it. It is a cool little weapon and I would recommend giving it a, a shot before you do it. Uh, before you, you cancel it or you don't decide to uh, not cancel it but before you don't decide to not use it it doesn't hurt to have an extra gun in the game unless you have like a billion already then then it hurts your <laughs> load order if you have like a thousand mods then i can understand why you wouldn't want to use it but besides that i don't see a reason not to use it it's pretty nice but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed hope to see you in another one of my fallout 4 mod spotlights uh or spotlight videos or just all videos in general on my channel and as always stay awesome